Because the history of British athletics is written through the chapters of the European Championships. The great athletes, the Bannisters, the Chatterways, the Woodersons, the Ron Hills, the Daley Thompsons and Sebastian Coe and Steve Cram in more recent years have performed with such distinction in these championships that they've provided the motivation and the inspiration for the generations of younger athletes that have followed. My first inspiration was provided by Bruce Tullow in 1962 in Belgrade in the 5,000 metres. I'll never forget it. I was only a 14-year-old schoolboy athlete at the time, and I was out playing football that night, and my father called me in to watch the event with him. And this tiny figure in his bare feet, running distant and alone from the rest of them, with a spotlight on him in this dark and dingy stadium in Belgrade. Uh, it, was a, it was a great moment for me. Everyone's standing up to cheer him home, and he can't be beaten now. He just can't be beaten. Hello, beating the best in the world. Here he comes, 40 yards to go, 30 yards to go, and Tello wins for Britain. Jimny second, Belotnik got third, Bogusevic fourth. Bruce, do you remember the last couple of laps? Well, it's not the kind of thing you ever, you ever forget. Yeah, I remember every moment of that, and the, the feeling of loneliness. You break away out in, out in front, and the far corner is very badly lit. I felt I was ever running into, into a tunnel there, and uh, got round to the last, the lap, last lap, and a, a few metres in front, and you know, what I've been told at that point, you've got to treat every 100 metres as a winning post, and, and just, just go like hell all the, all the way. What I can remember, mainly was feeling absolutely scared stiff, <laughs> coming up the home straight. You thought they were catching Feeling it. really scared. I, did, I couldn't hear anything, yeah. but you just never know, you just got to keep, keep going on. And when I got to the finish, there was, you used to have tapes, of course, in those days. there was no tapes, so I just kept on running until I'd gone a few more, few more metres, <laughs> and then I was safe. That was your greatest moment in athletics. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it.